Let's have theorem number two. A diameter that bisects a chord, which is not a diameter, is perpendicular to it. Again, a diameter that bisects a chord, which is not a diameter, is perpendicular to it. This is the converse of the first theorem. Remember the first theorem? It says that a diameter perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. In this case, theorem number two, pag daw na bisect niya, then it's perpendicular. So let's first show this using GeoGebra. Let's create a circle and then a diameter bisects a chord. So let's have a chord first. And then to bisect is to pass through the midpoint. So let's locate the midpoint of this line segment. So there you go. There's the midpoint. And let's draw a line passing through the center and the midpoint. So this line here contains the diameter. And let's see whether it's perpendicular to the, to the chord. So let's verify. Yeah, it's 90 degrees. Therefore, the diameter that bisects a chord is actually perpendicular to the chord. Okay, let's show the proof formally. Given that GC is equal to GD, so those, those are the chords, two parts of the chords. So GC is equal to GD, that, that, that is actually bisected. And then we have to prove that EF, this diameter here, is perpendicular to CD. Now, our attack for this proof is that we're going to form, again, triangles. And then we're going to prove that the two triangles are congruent using um, a, a specific theorem. And then let's show that this angle over here and this angle over here are congruent and they form a linear pair. They are supplementary. Their sum is 180 and at the same time they are equal. So therefore, they are both 90 degrees. And thus, EF is perpendicular to CD. Now, let's have the formal proof. But let's begin with drawing AC and AD because we want to prove that that two triangles are congruent. The first statement, ito naglagay ako ng given. GC is equal to GD. That's given. AC is equal to AD because, of course, all radii of the same circle are equal. And AG is equal to AG by reflexive property. AG is equal to itself. And CA and AD are congruent to each other. So therefore, by SSS congruence, we have triangle CAG is congruent to triangle DAG. Now, angle AGC, which is this angle, AGC, is equal to or congruent to angle AGD, other one, by this by congruence proper, uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And angle AGC and angle AGD are linear pairs because they form a line. That's why they form a line. They are adjacent to each other and they form a line. And of course, if they form a line, they are supplementary. Their sum is 180 degrees by the definition of supplementary angles. And if you'll notice here, um, you can substitute. Remember that AGC is equal to AGD, therefore, the AGD here can be replaced by AGC. And you can add them. So you'll have two angle AGC is equal to 180 degrees. And by dividing both sides by two, we'll get angle AGC equals 90 degrees. AGC is equal to 90 degrees, this one. And therefore, it forms a right angle. And EF is perpendicular to CD by definition. Let's apply theorem number two. And for this one, let's solve for X. We have a chord AB that's 48 units. And then diameter, na bisect yon, perpendicular. This is 25 units. And we're going to solve for this X, EO. We're going to look for EO. Now, to solve for the value of X, gawin ulit natin yung ginawa natin kanina. Let's construct OB. OB, which is a radius. Tama? O yung center. Kinonect natin siya dun sa isang point sa circle. So this is a radius. And we have also a radius here, which is OD. OD is also a radius, and it's 25 units. So therefore, this is also 25 units. Now, as you can see, we have a right triangle over here. And of course, since we have a right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. That's all. Our hypotenuse is OB. So we have OB squared is equal to EO squared, which is X, plus EB squared. Substitute OB is equal to 25. EO, that's your X plus EB, which is 24. To solve for the value of X squared, that's equivalent to 25 squared minus 24 squared. And this is equivalent to, what's this? Let's apply the, what do you Difference of two squares, so this is 25 plus 4, uh, 25 plus 24 times 25 minus 24. So that's 25 plus 24, and then 25 minus 24. So that's, what's this, 49, and then times 1. So it's 49. And then, obviously, X is equal to plus or minus 7, and we will just get the positive 1. So therefore, x is equal to 7. Now, this example is pretty much the same thing. Let's connect this. OB is a radius. OD is also a radius. Therefore, this is 10. 
And by the Pythagorean theorem, this is a right triangle because the diameter is perpendicular to the chord and it actually bisects. Uh, again, mali, ulit. A diameter that bisects a chord is perpendicular to the chord. And let's apply the Pythagorean theorem because we have a right triangle over here. We have OB squared is equal to, what's this? E? That's E, no? EO. EO squared plus EB squared. OB is 10, so that's 10 squared equals EO, which is X, and then EB, which is 8. And then X squared is equal to uh, 10 squared minus 8 squared. I hope you can get that. Ha? Nilipat ko lang 8, 8 squared sa kabila tapos pinagpalit ko yung positions nila um, sa equal sign. So, Tinranspose ko yung 8 squared sa kabila so that that will become negative. Tapos pinagpalit ko lang ng position relative to the equal sign. So we have x squared is equal to, oh, apply ulit natin yung kanina, 10 plus 8, that's 18 times 10 minus 8, that's 2. We have x squared is equal to 18 times 2, that's 36. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 6. Again, we're just going to use the positive 1. And therefore, x is equal to 6. Wala palang tanong dito. Ang tanong dito is find x. Okay, find x. 